Hello everyone and welcome to Witches of the Moon. My name is Jen and I'm your Tuesday hostess. Now this week we're talking about indoor rituals versus outdoor rituals. And right now at this moment, I'm actually outside. And um, I try to come outside every single day if it's not like too hot or if it's not raining or that kind of thing. Today it's not too bad. We're supposed to have a cooler week so this should be a good week for me to get outside a little more. However, as far as ritual goes, if it's something that's very short, sweet, and simple, and to the point, then I absolutely will come outside and do it. Or if I'm with a group of friends, a group of people, and they want to come outside, we're planning on doing something outside, then I will do that. For the most part, though, most of my rituals are done inside. That is, that's for a number of different reasons. One, I don't want to carry all my stuff outside. Um, and then have to carry it all back in. That just takes too much, too much of my time. And I'm very much an impatient person. Um, number two, you know, if I have candles going, those blow out, and it gets kind of distracting with that. Uh, number three, it's hot. If it's really hot, I don't want to be outside. If it's really cold, I don't want to be outside. If it's raining, I definitely don't want to be outside. That triggers my migraines. <laughs> so. You know, the temperature has to be really perfect for me to do something outside. However, if I'm at a location and they're doing a public ritual, absolutely, I would take part in that. But otherwise, I pretty much do all of my rituals inside. Now, the great thing about being outside and doing a ritual is you can pull things from your own surrounding area and be in nature. You can actually connect. You feel the, the connection a little more, I think, with Mother Earth. Um, when you're outside in nature, um, you know, you can feel the breeze if there is one. You get the sunshine unless you're doing it at night and then you have the moonlight. Um, but you can also, you know, bring in a lot of other different elements from the outside that you normally wouldn't have access to inside or you might have access to it, but you don't always think to bring that in. And so on the spur of the moment, if you've got herbs, you can you know, cut those from your garden or wherever and use those. Um, you know, if you have a, um, if you're using charcoal with incense, it might be a little easier not to worry. You won't have to worry as much about it catching on fire because there's rocks and that kind of thing to kind of um, help with the heat of that. So there, there is that bonus. Um, but again, you know, inside it has also has a, has its advantages, regardless of the weather or the time of the day or time of the night that you're doing your ritual, you can always do it. Um, when you're inside, it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold outside, you can be however you like the temperature, whether you want it cooler, whether you want it warmer, you know, whatever it might be. So there's, there's the advantages of that. And, um, you know, if you do have an outdoor ritual space that's pretty much all set up and you have very few things that you need to bring out, that's great. And I know a lot of people who do outside rituals who also have an outdoor altar. I do not have an outdoor altar. I do have a sacred space, and which is where I come when I'm kind of frazzled and need to just kind of chill for a minute. Um, and it's not hard for me to get lost in nature in my, as far as my thoughts go. Um, I can come outside and, and supposed to be doing one thing and my herbs will pull me in a different direction and I'm doing something else when I should be doing something else altogether. So there's that. So there, there is pros and cons to each situation. You know, inside you don't have the, the full connection to the earth. You don't have those elements readily available. You have to create those elements, whether it be with incense, whether it be with crystals or candles, you know, whatever it might be, you you have to create those. And outside, you know, you almost have um, all the elements that you need. You've got three of the five anyways. Um, without, you know, have to create anything. You've got the earth, you've got yourself, and you've got air. Um, you know, and if you have a fountain, you do, all you have to do is plug that in and you have water. So, and a fire pit and you've got fire. So you've got all the elements right there, right at your fingertips. Um, 
you know, with little effort on your part. So, but for me, like I said, you know, I prefer to be inside and that's really all I have on this topic. Uh, make sure that you watch everybody else's video. Make sure you watch Natalie's video. Hers is posted today and there will be five more videos this week posted on this topic. So I'm sure we're going to have some interesting views and learn a little bit more about everyone as far as what they like to do for rituals, where they like to do the rituals and that kind of thing. So until next week, have a great day. Bye.